Perseverance reached the closest it will ever get to the eroded delta remnant, first recognized from orbit as a notably symmetric, vaguely artificial-looking landform. From the ground, it just looks wonderfully weird on this episode of Mars Guy. Billions of years ago, a river flowed into Jezero, or Jezero Crater, creating a lake and depositing sediments to form a delta. After the river stopped flowing and the lake dried up, wind and sand and gravity sculpted the deposit for billions of years into the shapes we see today. The former distributary channels of the delta are now ridges because the sediments they once contained are more resistant to erosion than the material that hosted them. A mesa named Kodiak is a portion of the delta separated from the main deposit by erosion. Images from Perseverance, with Mars Guy for scale, show layers so similar to delta deposits on Earth that they are smoking gun evidence for comparable formation processes on Mars. Another isolated delta remnant occurs well to the north, but this one looks very different than Kodiak Mesa. Here's a stadium for scale. It's a notably circular mound with vague horizontal layers sitting on bedrock that forms a cliff all the way around. This base has a sort of teardrop shape that looks maybe wind sculpted, but not the mound. So its circular shape is harder to explain. As I presented in the previous episode, Perseverance has been driving to the Delta at a record pace, and on Sol 395, it was two miles, about three and a quarter kilometers from the mound, the closest it's going to get. The 110 millimeter zoom lens on MassCam Z captured a spectacular mid afternoon panorama of the mound and adjacent terrain. Its symmetry and smooth curves make weirdly beautiful landscape art sculpted by nature. Some scattered boulders at the top attest to the slow motion dismantling of the layered bedrock over eons of time. In the same scene is a more distant appendage of the delta. It shows the aftermath of gravitational erosion with massive blocks of bedrock strewn across the steep slope. The sandblasting that probably undercut the layered rocks leading to collapse will slowly clean up the mess picking apart the boulders grain by grain until they disappear. The panorama also includes the best views we'll get from the ground of the northern delta deposit. Yes, there's another delta in Jezero Crater. Like the more prominent western delta, the northern delta was first recognized from orbit as a deposit of material at the mouth of a river channel entering the crater. It's just not as obvious without the preserved distributary channels. Perseverance was stalled on Sol 390 by a software fault, forcing it into safe mode for a couple of sols. But now it's back in action, making progress toward an optimal sampling location somewhere on the Delta front.